Hello and welcome back to another one of our videos. Today I am reviewing this. Uh, the Mortal Kombat Reptile Storm Collectibles. It's a figure of Reptile from Mortal Kombat 2. And I've had this, uh, when did I order it? I pre-ordered it in June last year and I think I got it in like October. Uh, I can't remember where I ordered it from. I think it was Play Asia or something. It was about 50 quid. Uh, box is a bit dusty anyway let's have a look at the front so on the front we got our age 17 plus got your figure got all the bits there storm collectibles up there you've got a bit of reptiles face there you've got more combat logo reptile on the side here we got this bit of a glare there it's a reptile in a pose uh, around this side you've just got the side profile which if you put it at that angle you see his whole face it's pretty cool uh, I think on top you just got a Mortal Kombat logo on the bottom you just got the warning sticker choking hazard and finding it really hard to get the right angles here but I'm trying and then on the back you've got some really nice artwork We've got a big picture of the character here. We've got his uh, mask variations. We've got the slime, the tongue, uh, the reptile head, and then the acid ball there. A little bit of a write up. I don't know if you want to read that yourselves. I can't be asked to read it. So, anyway, let's get this bad boy open and have a look so out of the box this is all the stuff you get you get this neat little thing that goes in the back of the box which you can keep it in the box or not or you can use it to display your character which is kind of cool it's got like a little acid pool bit there uh, i suppose that bit would go down there i don't know and then it's just black both sides there it's not bad but I prefer to keep that bit in the box, which I really do. Well, I always do. This is the first time I've actually brought out the box. Anyway, so your base figure is here. It is, uh, I'll get that to focus. This is with his Mortal Kombat 1 mask. Uh, you can sort of move his head side to side. His head comes off quite easily. So you kind of want to get him in. A position you want and then just kind of not really mess them out of it too much um, it seems fairly well built but apart from you know I mean once you get the head on it's it stays on there the thing I really don't like about this is if you move literally move the arms while the hands like the tiniest bit they just they just fall off the hands are very weak in those those joints there but there's some good movement sort of goes all the way to there this doesn't want to auto focus for some reason damn it but his uh he's got his knee pads there shin guards this, this flappy bit here which is soft plastic this part here which is soft plastic um these guard bits here you can turn them round sorry my angles are terrible here uh, I'm trying to do it reversed uh, so these move round these actually do come off these parts here so there's your base figure he's really good for posing once uh, once you get him in a pose you want he's, he's really good for posing you can I probably can't do this now but you can actually get him to stand on one leg so like he's doing like a kicking pose, but I'm probably not going to be able to manage that at the moment. Oh, I nearly had it there. It's usually quite easy. Oh, I nearly had it. There we go. There we go. So we can, you know, do like a cool kicking pose there. I'm not the best at posing figures, so... Uh, you know, it looks like he's having a fart there, doesn't it? 
Anyway, so the articulation is, is not bad. You can get him in some really good poses. Um, so that's of his Mortal Kombat 1 mask. That will ever focus. Which it doesn't seem to want to. But yeah, he's super detailed. I do like him. The only thing I don't like about it, like I said, is the... Uh, I wish the wrists were a bit more... Um, uh, more more sturdy. And didn't fall out quite so easy. So that's for that mask. So if we take his head off, which is quite easy. Let's take his head off a sec. Uh, to change his mask, you just pull that out. <coughs> and then you're left with this weird face. That weird face. So the the mask literally just pegs in. Sorry, it's not very clear, but the autofocus is going all weird. Maybe I should retry this with autofocus auto off. Hang on, give me a sec. Okay, so turning the autofocus off didn't work at all. Hang on. I gotta focus. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so... Oh, we had it then. Why did we move? Why is the autofocus on this so bad? Anyway, you get the idea. So that does that. Uh, and then you can peg in his second mask from Mortal Kombat 2. Which goes in like this so there's his second mask which is pretty cool it's got the little lines in it that's a pretty decent mask that is again probably not going to water focus but fuck it oh there we go no we had it then and we lost it Why is the autofocus so bad on this camera? Let's pop it on his body, see if that does any better. Shove his head back on. That's better. There we go, just stick it on his body. That works. A nice little side view there. Nice. That's his Mortal Kombat 2 mask, which I normally keep on him. Um, let's go ahead and pull that head off. And I can show you his reptile head now. That's his reptile head. It's a really, really good sculpt. Uh, and his jaw comes up and down. Like that. Always reminds me of uh, the aliens from V. Now with this mouth, you've got two two different tongues. You've got the little diddy one, which just sits in his mouth. Probably not going to see this very well, but hang on, let's put it in his mouth. That might work. I'm going to take his head off for this. So this just clips in with a little thing. Although my big fingers are too. I've got to have really tiny fingers for this. Which way does it go in again? That way? Or that way? I guess that way. <sighs> Gotta get this in and then getting it out is a pain in the butt anyway. Oh, just dropped it. Shit. Where's that gone? I've lost his little tongue. No. Oh no, it was on my, on my chair. Never mind. I found it. Alright, let's try and get this in. 
can't remember which way it goes in now. Oh, it's so fiddly. This this is taking me ages. No. See, that doesn't look right at all. Well, I think it is. Yep, right, that'll do. Sorry about this. Ugh. So you can just about see it in his mouth there. Just. See it poking out there. The side. Get blurry again. Man, this is the worst figure review ever. So anyway, right, that's his that's his little his little tongue. I've got to try and get that out now. <laughs> God damn it. There we go, there's his little tongue out, right, let's put his big tongue in. This one's a lot easier to get in and out. This one's probably by far the coolest. <coughs> but because his jaw's open quite a lot in this one, it's kind of hard to keep his head, like, on, because his chin goes down. See, there's his big tongue. Like so. That comes out like that. If I put him sideways here, it gives you a rough idea of uh, how long his tongue is. Oh, that's one thing I didn't do. I'll show you how tall he is. He is. Oh, shit, I just knocked him over. He is coming in at around six and a half inches, roughly. Six and a half inches. Um, so yeah, that's his that's his tongue. It's pretty cool. Um, I do love this head sculpt though. It's such a good one. So that's that. That's that. Right. You also get this, which is his acid ball. Uh, effect which is translucent so you could you know when the light hits it you just see through it which is pretty cool and you put a hand in there and a hand in the bottom that's kind of cool he's got these ones here that sort of drip off the fingers um, if I get one of his finger hands I can show you Hopefully I've got the right one Uh, where are we at? There we go. Right, so that was like his hand comes out like that and then it sort of just drips off his fingers like that. Uh, I would put it on his hand but his hands are so flipping annoying to keep changing over. But you get, you get the general idea. If this would ever fucking focus. Yeah, it goes on his fingers and just like gives off the uh, the effect that he's got acid dripping off his fingers. So that's pretty cool. So you've got like two of these hands, which are kind of open-ish, and they've got those on the other side. You've got these hands, which are probably almost call them gripping hands almost <coughs> although you don't really get anything you can grip with 
you get one another gripping hand, gripping right hand, so if he had a sword or something, which he doesn't come with you could use that and then he's got these two flat hands here which are pretty cool for doing sort of you know, sort of that pose type thing Aww. and I think that's about it all in all he's a very very nice figure and looks really nice you know when you're sort of posing him about and that Um, what I'll probably do is try and take some pictures of some different poses that I can put them in and uh, You know sort of post a few pictures and put those on the end of the video a few more close-ups, maybe um, I suppose I didn't really go through the articulation did I and the head the arms go up and down that's on a ball joint there the arms bend there. I don't. Well, you've got a twist there at the top of the bicep. Uh, the hands are jointed left and right, and they can go all the way around. That doesn't do anything apart from that, like that. So you've got a little bit of a crunch on the chest, uh, legs. I think they're all ball joints like that so legs can go all the way out almost actually no they can can go all the way out <coughs> so you could probably probably if I get this to stand right oh come on come on you bastard ta da you can get him to do like a really high kick as well that's that's pretty good for a figure to get them to balance like that and it's not that hard to do either <coughs> so you can get them in some super cool poses uh, the knees are fairly bendable like so uh, it'll only bend forward to sort of where the knee pad is so you can't uh, and these are not supposed to bend any further than that anyway, are they? Duh. And then with the foot you've got rock in motion there and turns around like that. So that's pretty cool. Um yeah, all in all, pretty good figure. It's so far it's my only Mortal Kombat figure that I've got. I've got two Street Fighter figures somewhere. <coughs> but yeah, that's that's that. As I said, I'll do some more poses in pictures, and I shall put those up on the end of this video. Uh, apart from that, I really, really love this figure. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.